If you've been connecting to Excel files on your network drive and now your organization is moving to SharePoint or OneDrive, it's not obvious at all how you can quickly change to point to the new OneDrive or SharePoint location, but I'll show you how. Let's go. Let me talk you through the scenario. If I connect to a file on my network, I can just click the Excel button and go to my network file, double click on it, and I get prompted with the contents of that Excel file and I can just pull it in using Power Query. What I'll do is I'll do that and then I'll show you how you can quickly change it to point to a SharePoint file instead. So here's my file, here's the table inside my file. I'm just gonna right click and say transform and Power Query will open up. And really it's the source step that is the most important one to focus on. So once you've connected to an Excel file, you get these applied steps and you can do more tidy ups. I'm assuming you've already done this and you're already using Power Query to connect to Excel files. Then your Excel files are being moved to a OneDrive or SharePoint folder. What do you do? Do you have to rebuild your entire query? Because the simple Excel button up here is not what you use anymore. You can't simply go to the source step. And if I control shift plus a couple of times to zoom in, you can't simply come in here and type in the URL. What you have to do is this. Step one, change the word file to web. And then step two, replace this with the right URL. How do you find that URL? You go to your file on OneDrive, you make sure it's ticked, you click on the I in the top right hand corner, and then you scroll down and you copy this path. Copy. Then you go back into your file, highlight everything but keep the double quotes either side and paste. Okay, press enter, edit credentials. So you're prompted with this. So you click on edit credentials. You'll then just have to sign in using organizational account. Okay, click sign in, run through these steps and then it will all work. You only have to connect once to your own OneDrive or SharePoint folder. After that, you don't get prompted for the security ever again. And then you can carry on life as normal. Hope you find it useful. Please subscribe to keep up to date for new videos and leave me a comment, let me know what you think and give this a like if you enjoyed it. And I will catch you later.